In the early days of this new year, it's a good time to reflect on the year gone by and consider some of the biggest surprises investors have faced. This time last year, reflation was a powerful theme. With the continued global central bank liquidity boost, along with potential fiscal stimulus in the U.S., many began to prepare for a higher inflation environment. Those who waited for inflation were disappointed. One of the biggest surprises of last year was the combination of growth that exceeded expectations in an environment of perpetually sluggish inflation. With the unemployment rate falling to 4.1 percent, many believed that diminished slack in the economy would manifest in stronger wage growth and higher overall inflation. That did not come to pass. 2017 ended with CPI running at just 1.7 percent. The lack of wage growth has been puzzling. Forces holding down wage inflation include demographic trends where baby boomers are retiring to be replaced by lower wage workers, global slack in capacity and labor even as excess capacity in the U.S. shrinks, the increased use of technology across all businesses, and certainly we can't forget the Amazon effect. Clearly, there are secular forces at play here. We may see a cyclical uptick in inflation due to some base effects. We had unusually low inflation prints in 2017 due to downward pressure on cell phone service prices and the bear market in energy. We may also see an uptick as the early impacts of tax reform in the U.S. take hold. We could have a timing mismatch as economic activity ticks up, while the productivity improving investments have yet to bear fruit. So, it's possible that we could see an uptick in the inflation rate. If that happens, we believe it would be temporary. Our call is that inflation will remain low and that inflation expectations sitting at just over 2 percent on a 5- and 10-year basis are justified. Our theme of stuckflation remains very much in place. For investors, this means get used to those low levels of interest rates, which will translate into low single-digit returns for high-quality fixed income. We expect that the Fed will be constrained by these low inflation expectations that are reflected in the flat yield curve, and it seems unlikely that we'll see the three planned hikes in Fed funds this year. With a 210 spread at just over 50 basis points, the Fed will be reluctant to further flatten or even invert the yield curve. Despite the low forecasted return, however, we continue to see high quality fixed income as a valuable source of durable and dependable diversification in portfolios, as well as an important funding source for near term goals.